Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce our weekend with these two servers. Our server have two type, type A and type B. You can find type B is much bigger because terminal, uh, barrel terminal is used in here, which is much, is, is much tight and thick. Um, A has 0.4 and 0.75 kilowatts to models. And B has 1, 1.5, 1.8, 2, and 2.3 kilowatt models. Um, our server can support multi flash installation 60, 80, 110, and 130 millimeters. Okay, let's see Type B's interface. This is operation panels, M4 mode. This button is zipped, and this two button is increase and decrease values. This button is enter. This is a barrel terminals. L1 to L2 G is in the power terminal for servo. P plus to W is in the power output for motor. These two for grounding and CN1 is encoder terminal terminals. We can collect we can support 17 bits absolute uh, encoders. CN2 is input and output terminals. CN3 is RS422 port, for CN4 is RS485 port. Okay, let's, let's introduce some features of Wicom servos. Firstly, high response. As we using as we use serial codes processing the response speed is four times faster than our VD1 series. Um, strong protection. Secondly, strong protection. As we, we have coating protection, anti-corrosion protection, rich protection function, and rich protection function and more stable. And thirdly, support, support internal multi-speed instruction. We can serve, we can support internal multi-speed instruction, can achieve Instant and average uh, low lace monitoring and it's much convenient for on-site debugging and support play output control too. The last one, the last one, we can servo is easy to debug as our software has automatically adjusting no functions and our servo has a virtual DI and DO function with four channel real-time on the telescope. That's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time.